गुड डे एवरीबडी वी आर फाइनल इयर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम गोकराजु रंगराजु इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी स्टडिंग इंफॉर्मेशन एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज आर मेन प्रोजेक्ट एंड आर प्रोजेक्ट इज ट्रैफिक मॉनिटरिंग यूजिंग रैसबेरी पाइप ट्रैफिक मॉनिटरिंग एंड एनालिसिस हैज बीन एन एक्टिव रिसर्च टॉपिक फॉर मोर देन टू डिकेट्स टूडे हैवी ट्रैफिक इज अ मेजर प्रॉब्लम फेस्ड बाय द पीपल इन इन ऑर्डर टू ओवरकम दिस प्रॉब्लम वी केम अप विद दिस project in specific this application is used for traffic monitoring by identifying the type of the vehicle volume of the traffic velocity of the vehicle and the pollution of that area this is a raspberry pi it is a very low cost and a credit credit card size single board linux computer that plugs into a computer monitor or a tv and uses a standard keyboard and mouse When it is connected to a computer's monitor, it works as a CPU and acts like a normal laptop or a monitor. There are three versions of a Raspberry Pi: Model A, Model B, and Model B Plus. In this project, we are using a B Plus model because the specifications of this model are better and enhanced than the other two. Now I'll explain you in detail about all the peripherals of this Pi. There are four USB ports to which you connect a standard keyboard, a mouse, or any other external USB devices. This is an Ethernet port. You connect an Ethernet cable to access internet. This is a 3.5 mm audio jack through which you can connect to any music devices. That is a slot where you can connect your camera module. This is a HDMI port. This is used to connect an HDMI cable through which you can connect to your monitor and view. This is a power cable port through which power supply is given to the Raspberry Pi. Here you see a memory card. In this memory card we write the OS externally and install it in your computer and run the Raspberry Pi. These are 40 GPIO pins and we connect our desired sensors to them. In our project we are using three different sensors the first one is the pressure sensor the second one is the ir sensor the third one is the smoke sensor these three are connected to an interface shield lpc2148 and this interface shield is connected to a raspberry pi through gpio pins ground wire is connected to the third pin of the raspberry pi and data wire is connected to the fifth fifth pin of the raspberry pi Now we'll explain you about the pressure sensor. This pressure sensor is placed on the road and when a vehicle passes on it depending on the pressure applied by the vehicle if it crosses the threshold point it immediately captures a picture and sends sends a mail to us. Like I've earlier told you that there is a slot for camera and we connect this to the Raspberry Pi and when the threshold point is reached it immediately captures a picture and sends to the user. The next one is the IR sensor. There are two pairs of IR sensor. The first IR sensors are used to detect the speed of the vehicle. The second pair of IR sensors is to detect the volume of the vehicles. You place one pair of IR sensor on either side of the road. So when the vehicle passes between this pair of IR sensors, it keeps the count of the vehicles passing between them and displays us. The next pair of IR sensors is also placed on the other side of the road. When vehicle pass through this IR sensor, it calculates the velocity with which each of the vehicle passes. This is a smoke sensor. The speciality of this sensor is to detect the carbon particles. When it is placed in an area, it detects the carbon particles present in the atmosphere and it will show us the amount of pollution caused in that area. The data from the sensors is collected and is sent through an email to the user. Now we will show you the execution of our project. First, we put the SD card into the slot in which we have installed the Raspberry Pi OS. Next, we connect the HDMI cable through which we can connect it to an external screen. Next we connect an external keyboard and also an external mouse.
and now we are connecting an ethernet cable and now we are connecting the power cable and turning on the power now we see the os booting on the screen we enter the username and the password to the raspberry n this is the gui of the raspberry n this is the lx terminal and it is similar to a command prompt from windows this is ideally integrated development environment in which we write python scripting now we open the lx terminal and initially give the path and then run the program this is the output from different sensors and we can also see that the mail has been sent to the user successfully This is the user's Gmail window, which has a mail with the data. This is the data inside the mail that we send to the user. As you see, there are different values from the different sensors in the mail. Apart from sending mail to the user, it also stores the same data in a text document within itself. Traffic monitoring is very useful in real time, and the data stored here can be used in analyzing the data, like forecasting, historical trends, analysis. And this data can also be used for future infrastructure enhancements and improvements in the coming future. Thank you for watching.